Alright, oh, no, so out for a bit of a play in the Unimog. Nobody else turned up, so that's alright. I just got freedom to do what I want, play how I want. But it looks like someone's, for some reason, all this has been graded through here. Bulldozer graded, bulldozer been through here, cleared the track, which is interesting. I'm not sure why they'd be doing that. Might be getting ready for developments and surveying, etc. Anyway, get out and have some fun. Hope you enjoy. Well, that really ruined all the fun. There was some good ruts here that were kind of slightly challenging, but not anymore. Now it's just dust. Have a look at that. I can't even see my trailer. Here we go. This spot's a little bit interesting. I came through here before, but uh, yeah, it's pretty tight up there with the trees. You probably can't quite see, but in that rut there with it, your tire up along there with a mob being pretty wide if you drop off that edge it's a massive drop you pretty much even a mob would just fall off there and roll over a deep hole and that is deep in there down to there pretty deep pretty sketchy good stuff mog does it easy it's just a matter of maneuvering it the right way right uh, just for the sake of having some fun i'm going through there another spot that's pretty deep i'm going to cross over through that
out here, you know, people have fun in this mud. That's great, you know, out full driving. I'm all for it. But this, this really pisses me off. If you're out here enjoying this area, why would you stuff it up by just leaving your freaking trash everywhere? You freaking losers. Absolute freaking losers. So, fork in the road. That's the easy way. But for the sake of having fun, I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Hey. Run a wheel up over there. Cross through here. Hey. Then it gets real fun. Could just go down, down that way like everybody else. Nah, I'm going to go through here. Yeah. That looks more interesting. Bit of a drop at the bottom there. And some mud. Well, there's a little bit of mud there, but it won't be mud for me. Yeah. Hey, now that's interesting. That'll be fun. Whilst turning a corner. Whilst dragging a trailer. Yeah, that could make things interesting. That could make things real interesting, actually. <laughs> actually, I don't know that I'll get the trailer around there now. <laughs> I'll have to hug. Jeez, I just about need to put my front wheel in this hole. Just about dangle it in that hole nearly to get the angle to get the trail around past this tree. Oh, it'll be fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, I better have a look and see if I'm even going to make the turn now that I've got the truck in the, in the here. It's pretty tight. And then I've got to swing the trailer. <laughs> crazy. I know you're all saying it. I'm crazy. That's all right. I'm having fun. Challenging myself. What are you doing? Hey, watching YouTube. That's good too. Make sure you subscribe. Need to get back a bit so that I've got room to stop me truck when I get down here. There you go. Can you see from there? Beauty.
know what you're all saying, and you're right, I'm crazy, but it's all right. I've, I've got the trailer wedged up there, but that's all right, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and my back tires are starting to slide to the driver's side. So that one up there is probably gonna end up floating in the air somewhere up in here with a big hole under it. That's all right. It'll be a nice fun wheel lift from the rear. But the trailer, well, I said this is probably going to happen, didn't I? The trailer's up against this tree, which it could possibly make it pivot around, but well, it's just past that tree there, actually. So, but if I pull too hard to make the trailer slide around, I'm probably going to end up pulling my back tyres down in the hole which is just going to make matters worse so I'm just going to get a winch out and re-manoeuvre the trailer and then we'll keep going have all fun and games This should be interesting. That wheel's going to float in the air, I guarantee. <laughs> Sorry, tree. Good thing you're tough. You'll survive. But yeah, that was more interesting than the uh, than the um, the so-called man line or the the chicken tractor down the other side. That would have been boring. So yeah, that was fun. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, why not? Hey, eh? let's let's bash through some mud. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot.
So once I got through the middle section, I realized there's some stumps up there that would have been a bit annoying to get the trail around. So I figured I'd better reverse back through it and then go the other one. So anyway, that was a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, righto. Ugh. Ugh. That's better. Uh. Righto, what's next? Righto, so here's a bit of an unknown. How deep is it? It's probably real shallow and I'll just drive through it like it's nothing, but you just don't know until you know. Let's see if I can find a stick to poke in it. Oh, that one's a bit... That one keeps going. That's like a good two foot. Yeah, we're getting up to smidge over two foot. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's in there. It's three, three foot. It's three foot. Let's compare that next to the knob. Yep. Pr pretty much swallow a tyre. 46 inch tyre. That's, uh, and put this stick over here for someone else to use. I don't know, should I? What do you all reckon? Should I give it a crack? Yeah, I know. You're all saying, yeah, go it, send it. It's only a little puddle. You'd be right. You got a winch. I do here we go, let's do it. I smell. Oh, here we go again, next spot. There you go, it gives you an idea how deep the mud was. Come up to my headlights. That's pretty wild. Oh, yep. It's all fun and games until you've got to spend an hour underneath your stuff with a hose. Hose all the mud at least off your brakes. Yeah, good fun.